Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Zerko and welcome back today to a Minecraft PC 1.9 Optifine and Shaders tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install both. Now I looked over YouTube and the current tutorials are either French or German. So I thought it's about time I put an updated Shaders and Optifine tutorial. Also, if you find this helpful, be sure to thumbs it up and share the video because I'm pretty sure other people will be looking for this. Just to explain to you what Optifine is, Optifine improves your Minecraft quality. It gives you a smoother gameplay. So if you don't have the best PC, it's gonna be very useful for you. As for shaders, I'm pretty sure you know what it is. It makes Minecraft look fantastic. So I'm on Minecraft 1.9. You don't need to boot this up and the downloads for what you need will be in description. So the downloads that you need are going to be Optifine. It's just optifine.net forward slash downloads. And you're gonna need a texture pack. I'll go over that in just a second. So as you guys can see, the latest version is Minecraft 1.8.9. So it hasn't been updated officially to Minecraft 1.9. You do have to click this, which is preview versions. Now these are kind of, I'm gonna class these as the, the beta or the alpha version of Optifine 1.9. And I expect, and do expect this to be updated continuously until you re release a solid version of 1.9, which could take up to a couple of months. But for now, you guys have to make do with Optifine 1.9 HD UA3 Pre. So download this. This should activate it on an AdFly website. Just simply download it from there. It'll take you five seconds. We are going to install Optifine first. Make sure you do this. So simply do this, as you guys can see, there is a jar file. It's downloading there. Simply, yes, we wanna keep this. I'm gonna drag this to my desktop. That's what I need. And I'm gonna close Minecraft to start off with. So I'm gonna I'm gonna activate this. So as you guys can see, Optifine HD Ultra A3 Pre for Minecraft 1.9. This installer will install Optifine in an, in an official Minecraft launcher and will create a new profile Optifine for it. So simply install this, click OK. And then to be safe with this guys, what you wanna do is you wanna launch Minecraft with Optifine. So as you guys can see, we have the Optifine profile. It's still my same name, but it will say this instead of it being, um, let me close this. Instead of it being my normal profile here, which is just 1.9, it's now on Optifine. So let's launch up Minecraft. I'm gonna start a brand new world and just show you guys the basics of what this can do. So let's make this bigger. Single player, in fact, what does it say? It doesn't say anything different there, single player. Let's go to create new and for example, let's just create, let's just create a normal creative world. So this will load up Minecraft, but Optifine will be active and Optifine just literally improves your Minecraft. There's a lot more settings now than there used to be back in the day of the basics of Minecraft. So if you go to exit options, uh, you want to go to, sorry, if you go to exit options, you want to go to uh, video settings and in video settings you've got more details so you've got fog shaders details animations other performances quality you guys can put things like your fps counter on your top left if you wanted to there's a bunch of other things in here as well so show fps um show this in fact i'm going to keep this off so done 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 and then back to game you guys can see on the top left it's got my fps so it's 60 fps this is just Pretty much just a smooth gameplay because I do have a good computer, so I don't technically need Optifine. I it's just it's just nice to know my um, my FPS. Now I'm gonna save and quit because I no longer need to show you guys Optifine. I'm pretty sure you have a full understanding of how it works. I'm gonna close Minecraft. I'm gonna go to this website. Now let me explain to you. There's no release for Minecraft 1.9 shaders. However, the 1.8 shaders do still work. So for example, let's go to this which is gonna take me to the Minecraft website, which will be the Airlockers shaders. Go down and download whatever version you want. So if I go to the downloads, which are here, we've got one, two, three, four, five different versions. I'm gonna go with Ultra. I'm gonna go with the highest one possible in this uh, tutorial. This is where we may experience a bit of lag and I'm probably best off dragging this to my desktop. So that is dragged to my desktop. I'm now gonna load up Minecraft, go to options, go to video settings, go to shaders, and as you guys can see here, shaders are not compatible with the fast render. Please set performance red fast render off. So for this to work, you have to go into performance, fast render, turn it off, go to done, back to shaders. And as you guys can see, I already do have one installed. Now the one I just did then, I'm gonna go to shaders. I'm gonna go to my desktop. This is the shaders I've just downloaded. So I'm gonna throw this in there. I can now exit out of this. In Minecraft, we have this one. I'm just gonna simply click on this. Go to done, you guys can check more on there. Go to done, go to done, go to done. Single player, I'm back to this world. Now again, they still work. The Minecraft 1.8 shaders are still working. 
for Minecraft 1.9. It's the same world, everything is working perfectly. Look how beautiful Minecraft looks right now. Even this, this thing here right now looks incredible. So I'm hoping this tutorial does help you out. I mean, it's not hard at all to install, but I definitely think a uh, tutorial was needed for people to, I don't know, have a full understanding of how it does work and how to install it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up, be sure to share the video, take care, stay beautiful, and as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.